For the Q3 release of the RAD controls for wind farms, we put a lot of effort into improving the overall performance of the controls. This involved us focusing a lot of our attention on the Telerik presentation framework, which is, as some of you may know, the underlying framework on which the RAD controls for wind farms are built. The RAD element, the smallest visual unit in the TPF, has been given its own life cycle. The major benefit of this new improvement is a significant performance boost during the loading and disposing stages. Simple tests prove that controls load and dispose between 50% and 300% faster depending on the depth of the corresponding element tree hosted on each control. What I'm going to show you today is a simple example that we've put together that shows just how much performance has improved since the Q1 release. Here you'll notice that I have three different testing projects open. Uh, each of these projects are running against the different assemblies released for each quarter. So this one to the far left is running on the quarter one assemblies, the one in the middle is running on the quarter two assemblies, and the one on the right is running on the just released quarter three assemblies of the RAD controls for wind forms. What I'm going to show you today is a simple demonstration we've put together that shows just how much performance has improved since the Q1 release. Here I have three applications opened up. Each of the applications does exactly the same thing. The only difference is that they are each running against different versions of the RAD controls for WinForms assemblies. The first is using the Q1 assemblies, the second is using Q2, and the third is using the newly released Q3 assemblies. Each of these applications has a set of buttons that you can click to run simple time tests. Each test basically populates a form with a particular type of control, then displays it. It all does this while timing how long it took to do so. The total time taken is then output to the example load time text box. Let's give each of these tests a try, starting with the load 200 buttons test. I'm going to run each of these tests twice in an effort to get the best reading possible. So starting with Q1, I'll go ahead and start the buttons test. And I'm going to run it one more time just to get a better set of results. So for the Q1 release, it took a little over two and a half seconds to load 200 buttons and display the form that contained them. So let's try Q2 now. I'm going to run it one more time. So for Q2, you can see there was actually a pretty dramatic increase. Uh, it seems like it's about 1.7 seconds faster. Let's try Q3 now. That was pretty instantaneous. I'm going to run it one more time. Wow, it's 200 milliseconds uh, versus the 2.7 seconds it took in Q1. That's a pretty dramatic improvement. So that goes to show just how much effort we're putting into increasing the perform performance of the RAD controls for wind forms. Let's try the checkboxes test now. I'll run it one more time again. So it took a little over 2.8 seconds for Q1 to load and display 200 checkboxes. So let's try Q2 now. For Q2, pretty dramatic increase again, uh, about 1.2 seconds versus the 2.8 seconds it took in Q1. Now let's try Q3. I'll run it one more time. And again, pretty dramatic increase. It's down to 200 milliseconds versus the 1.2 seconds that it took in Q2 versus the original 2.8 seconds. Uh, Again, that's a very dramatic increase. Let's try the grid test now. I'm going to run it one more time again. So for Q1, it takes a little over four seconds to load and display 100 grids. Let's try Q2 now. For Q2, there was a little bit of an increase, uh, maybe about a second. Uh, so for Q2, it took about 3.2 seconds to load and display 100 grids. 
versus the 4.1 seconds it takes in Q1. Now let's try Q3. It's a pretty dramatic increase once again. So for Q3 it takes about 1.3 seconds to display to load and display 100 grids uh, versus the 3.2 seconds for Q2 versus the 4 seconds in Q1. So uh, let's go ahead and try the ribbon bar test now. So for Q1, it takes a little over four seconds to load and display 100 ribbon bars. Let's try Q2. For Q2, there was a, a slight improvement, maybe about 300 milliseconds. Let's try Q3 now. Again, a pretty dramatic decrease, uh, down to 2 seconds versus the 3.7 seconds in Q2 versus the 4 seconds in Q1. Um, this really goes to show how much effort we're putting into increasing the overall performance of the RAD controls for WinForms. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about what we've released with Q3, uh, please pay a visit to Telerik.com for all of the latest updates and information.